Tradecraft, what is it? It's basically any ways, means, or tools that spies use to accomplish their missions covertly. For example, this big lighter. It looks like a normal big lighter, but it's actually a Glock 19. In the first part of the series, I showed you how to hide the inner of a paracord, a six foot length, inside of a boonie cap. If you didn't catch that video, I'll leave a link to it up here. The scenario for this video series is that you've been captured by enemy forces and you're being held hostage. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can hide a six foot length of the inner paracord inside of your shoe. Now, realistically, you're probably gonna be stripped down naked. If they did leave your shoes, they're probably gonna take the shoelaces out and take out the inner sole. They're gonna check it. To get a six foot length of the inner paracord, I simply take the paracord and I extend my arms out all the way. I know that that gives me approximately a six foot piece. I then cut the paracord and pull the inner out. So I'm gonna take about a two inch long piece of the Gorilla Tape and rip it off. Now I'm gonna take my piece of Gorilla Tape and I'm going to simply set it down on a flat surface, start one side, bring it over, give a little bend, stick down the other side. So now I've got the sticky side up. What I'm gonna do is burn the ends of my six foot length of inner paracord. I'm gonna take one end of my cordage and I'm gonna put a loop in the end of it. Okay, just gonna fold it over on itself and then make a simple overhand knot. That gives me a little loop on the end. I wanted to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you want to see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it. I'm going to take our six foot piece of cordage here. I'm going to wrap it around three fingers like this loosely. And you can see I've got my fingers extended out. You'll see why it's important at the end here. So we come, here's our loop and I relax those fingers. So now this can come off very neatly. I'm going to keep this loop separate. Okay, I want this loop off to the side. I'm going to come around. I'm going to pinch this, keeping tension on it. There's my loop. I can see it. I want a nice circle. And I'm going to simply place that onto this Gorilla Tape. Now, the important thing here is that this loop is up. It's on top. And I'm going to leave it out a little bit. Again, what's important here is that this loop is on the top. Okay, we want to keep this in order, as nicely dressed as possible. So I'm going to leave it just like that over on the side. I'm going to take my shoe. Again, the laces will probably be gone. And this inner sole, you know, people are always hiding things under here. So we want to remove that. I'm going to take the Gorilla Tape and I'm going to stick it all the way down to the bottom, to the toe of the shoe, inside. And I'm going to stick it up to the roof of the shoe. I'm going to stick it in as far down there as I can get it. I'm going to stick that to the roof of the shoe. And that is right down here, as far as I can get my hand in there. And I'm pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. And I'd hear that Gorilla Tape to the top of this shoe. Now upon visual inspection, I can see nothing. It's just a completely, looks like just an empty shoe. I can turn it upside down. I still can't see it. So you may get away with it. It's all just a chance, but hey, it's better than having nothing, right? So this is just a real basic technique that you could try using the Gorilla Tape, preloading it with the cordage. You could stick this anywhere. If you want to get really advanced into the tradecraft, you could go hardcore. And that would be removing stitches, right, from the garment, taking it apart slipping in that cordage and stitching it back up. Okay, that's the next level. If you want to see something like that, let me know in the comments. Hang tough.